Today we're going to show you how to replace a burned out headlight lamp in a 2003 Dodge Caravan. First we're going to remove these three screws and they attach the head headlight assembly to the vehicle. Once we loosen these screws we'll be able to uh, remove the headlight assembly so that we'll have access to the lamp socket. Um, I'm going to use a socket wrench because sometimes these are a little bit stiff and hard to get with a screwdriver. But what I'm using here is an 8 millimeter uh, socket wrench. Once we have the three screws removed, we can simply lift out the headlight assembly. Okay, once we have the headlight assembly removed, we want to take this uh, retaining ring here, turn it counterclockwise, and it should lift out. And that's where our burned out lamp is. We can lift that right out. Once you have removed the retaining ring, uh, there's this little connector here that holds the bulb in its socket. i to carefully pull that up and pull the bulb forward. And there's the socket that it goes right into. Then you take your new lamp. You want to make sure you don't touch the bulb with your hands because uh, oily film from your skin will make the life of that bulb sh be shortened considerably. So for long life, Try not to touch that bulb with your hand. If you do, rub, um, wipe it with some rubbing alcohol. Okay, we're simply going to reconnect it the same way we took it apart. And slide this into the connector. Once you have the new lamp in its socket, then we simply replace it. In its spot, and then you take that retaining ring, turn it clockwise, that will lock the new lamp into place. Alright, once everything's uh, back in place, then we'll slide the headlight assembly back into position. Once you have the headlight assembly in place, and the screw holes lined up, and there's a certain trick to that, it kind of fits in the position, and, and you need to hold it there, uh, then you can go ahead and hand tighten the screws. Once you have the screws back in place and after you've hand tightened them to make sure that you're not stripping the threads in there if you don't want to do that then you can take your socket wrench or a screwdriver if you wish and tighten them. But not too tightly because these are plastic components. And now it's time for the acid test. We'll turn on the lights and see if they work. And they work. Now that you've changed your headlamp, it might be a good time just to walk around the car and check all of your lights to make sure they're functioning properly.